Hello, this is the second part of a two-part series. In the first one, we looked at vertically opposite angles, and in this one, we're gonna be looking at corresponding angles, alternate angles, and allied angles. Uh, just a quick reminder that for to answer lots of these questions, we need to know that the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, and that the angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees as well. So you need to remember those to answer quite a lot of these problems. If we take two intersecting lines and we know one of those angles, well, we now know that it's really easy to find the other three angles. So you can see those there. Now, imagine that we're gonna kind of copy and paste that horizontal line and we're gonna replicate second version of it but we're just going to move it up slightly well the angles created on that new line are going to be exactly the same as the angles at the bottom because it is just an exact replica of that first line that we had corresponding angles alternate angles and allied angles are just ways of describing that concept the idea that the angles you get at the top are the exact same angles that you're going to get at the bottom Let's look at an example and I'll show you exactly what I mean. In this example, we're being asked to find the missing angle A, okay? And one easy way to do that would just be to use all the skills that we've developed so far so we could find the three missing angles at the bottom. We've got angles on a straight line, so we know that this one's gonna be 60 degrees, and then the other two, well, they're just vertically opposite. So we got 60 degrees again, and 120 degrees again. So we've got all four of those, and we know that all four angles at the top, they're gonna to be exactly the same. So we could just find all the missing angles, and then we know that angle A must be 120 degrees. But that that's a bit long-winded. We don't wanna to have to go through that every time we answer one of these questions. We need a more efficient way of doing it. And really that just comes down to using the correct language to explain what it is that we mean. You can see that a lot of the angles are the same. When we've got two angles that are in the same relative position, we call them corresponding angles. So if you see the two that I've highlighted here, you can see that they are both on top of the parallel lines and on the same side of the diagonal line, right? They're kind of in the same sort of position. Uh, and there are a few instances like that. So you can see I'm highlighting those other ones there. All right, so that's corresponding angles. They're on the same side of the diagonal line and in the same relative position of those parallel lines, corresponding angles, okay? The other one that we use are alternate angles, okay? So when you've got the same angle, but it's on opposite sides of the diagonal line, and you can see those highlighted there, we call those alternate angles, all right? Let's look at a couple of examples to explain what I mean. In this question, we've got one angle that's 118 degrees and we're being asked to find the missing angle, which is called B in this example. So uh, you can see that they're just gonna be equal to each other and they're on the same side of our diagonal line and they're in the same relative position. So they are corresponding angles. So angle B is 118 degrees because it's a corresponding angle. This second question, we're being asked to find two missing angles. So we've got 37 degrees, and then we've got to find these other two here. Well, angle A, you can see that's exactly the same as the 37 degree angle, and it's the same because it's an alternate angle. It's alternate because it's on opposite sides of that diagonal, okay? So that's 37 degrees, and then angle B, well, we've just got our straight line there. So those two are gonna add up to 180 degrees. So if we subtract 37 degrees from 180 degrees, uh, we have 143 degrees, and that's what angle B is. Now, the only real challenge with this is working out whether the angle that you're describing is an alternate angle or whether it's a corresponding angle. So I thought it'd be good for you to have a bit of practice. I'm just gonna flash up some questions really quickly and there'll just be two angles shaded in and I'll leave that up for half a second and then afterwards I will say whether they are alternate or corresponding angles. So all you've got to do is just look at those shaded angles and decide whether they are alternate angles or whether they are corresponding angles. <music> 
there's one situation that we haven't looked at yet, and you can see it in this example. We've got this one angle that's 110 degrees, and we're trying to find this second missing angle, but it's not a corresponding angle, and it's not an alternate angle, and this is an allied angle. And the, the rule with an allied angle is that those two will add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so allied angles add up to 180 degrees. So the one that we've been given is 110 degrees. So that other one, the missing one, must be 70 degrees. Um, in this second example, you can see that we've been given a 27 degree angle and we're being asked to find this one here. And again, it's just the exact same thing. It's not a corresponding angle. It's not an alternate angle. It must be an allied angle and it's going to add to 180 degrees. So 180 minus 27, that gives us 153. So that missing angle is 153 degrees. Right, we're very nearly done. Um, you've seen all the rules and we've looked at examples for all of them. But just to finish off with, uh, I thought it'd be useful to look at some slightly harder questions that use all the same rules. This question looks quite a lot more complicated than the other ones we've done, but it's not really. It's just using all the exact same things that we've learned already in this video. So looking at that straight away, I noticed this triangle and I can see that those three angles are going to add up to 180 degrees because it's a triangle. So from that, I can calculate angle A. Okay, so I do 180 degrees, take away those other two angles. And that leaves me at 76 degrees. So angle A is 76 degrees. Following on from that, I can see that we've got this straight line. And I know that those two angles must add up to 180 degrees. So one of them is 76. The other one must be 104 degrees. Okay, so angle B is 104 degrees. Now, at this stage, you can see we've got these two parallel lines. This, this sounds a bit odd, but I always find it easier if you've got the parallel lines kind of going straight across, horizontally across your page. So it's a bit difficult with the screen, but if I was doing this on paper, I would just turn that around so my parallel lines are horizontal. I don't know why, I just find it easier like that. Now you can see that angle B and angle C, they are allied angles. They're going to add up to 180 degrees. Well, we know that angle B is 104 degrees, so angle C must be 76 degrees because they both add up to 180 degrees. And then finally, angle D, well, you could work this out, you know, a couple of different ways, but you can see that it is an alternate angle to angle B, okay? So angle D and angle B are going to be equal to each other because they are alternate angles. Right, let's look at one final question. Again, I'll put it up here, pause the video, have a go at it on your own, and I'll come back in a couple of seconds and talk you through it. In this final question, we have three missing angles to work out. Uh, now, I can't immediately see how I'm gonna work out what angle A is, but I can see that angle B is gonna be equal to that angle that we've been given. And it's on the same side of the diagonal line and it's kind of in the same relative position. So that's a corresponding angle. So C is 117 degrees because it's a corresponding angle. From that, again, we've got this straight line. So they're gonna add up to 180 degrees. So 180, take away 117, that leaves us with 63. So angle, which one's that? Angle B is 63 degrees. Let's come back and see if we can work out what angle A is. You can see this angle here that I've highlighted. You, we've got that straight line. So 117 degrees add that missing angle is going to be 180 degrees. Well, we've already worked that out from the previous one. So that is 63 degrees. And then they haven't labeled it here in the question, but the other angle in a triangle must be a right angle because it's corresponding with this one up here that I'm highlighting. So now we've got two angles of the triangle. We've got the 90 degrees and the 63 degrees. Well, that adds up to 153 degrees. So angle A, they're all going to add up to 180 degrees. So angle A must be 27 degrees. There we go. So it's quite an involved question. There's quite a few steps that you have to go through, but it's just all the same rules that we've practiced throughout the video. So I hope you found it useful. 
If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below or any suggestions for future videos that you'd like me to do, let me know about those too. I will read them all and respond to all of your suggestions. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.